and welcome to The Excellent Factor. My name is Mike Toulon. Tonight we will be welcoming Vale Royal Borough Council into the elite and prestigious family of councils, all with The Excellent Factor. The Audit Commission, after a detailed inspection, announced the council had achieved the prestigious and much coveted category back in July 2007. Joining us tonight to look back on the journey the council has travelled in order to achieve this pinnacle of success is our panel. First up we have Nicola Dufty, CEO of Profile Communication in Vale Royal, Ali Bairstow, resident of Vale Royal, and Daryl Christie, a Vale Royal Borough Council employee. <laughs> Please now welcome on stage to accept the award the Chief Executive, Anne Bingham Holmes. <laughs> hey Anne. Hi. Congratulations. What does it feel like to have gained the excellent factor? It's fantastic. Accepting this award on behalf of everyone at Vale Royal Borough Council councillors, the employees. It's a dream come true. But it wasn't a 100% surprise, was it? Little Birdie told me that uh, you've always believed you've had the excellent factor. How did you know that? Well, have a look at this. But the council, management team and I believe you're all excellent. So I'd like you all to take time to think about how we can prove that to the Audit Commission at their next inspection. Well, I was right. I've always had confidence in our ability to gain excellence. You were right, and here you are, to prove it, to pick up this special award. But before you do, let's take a look at the journey that Vale Royal Borough Council has made in order to pick up this prestigious title. The inspection report says, and I quote, Vale Royal Borough Council has achieved this excellent result by focusing on improving the quality of life in the borough. Now, these are powerful words indeed. Ali, you live in the borough. Do you believe that the council are delivering excellent services for you? Yes, I do. Uh, wherever the council touches my life, I feel like I'm getting a very good service. Um, from their ability to encourage recycling, I mean, my children are complete converts, um, to their, their emphasis on the environment, to taking the children to use the leisure facilities. I feel like the council is lo looking after the needs of me and my family. Um, I'm also a great advocate of equality and it makes me feel very proud that the council are leading the way in this aspect. Thanks, Ali. Well, the CPA completely agree with you. Have a look at this. So, service delivery clearly has the all-important excellent factor, but the Audit Commission also gave Vale Royal top marks for ambition, four out of a possible four. It's an incredible achievement, but what does it actually mean in practice? Earlier today, I took the opportunity to talk to the leader of the council, Councillor Les Ford, and the leaders of the other two political parties. I asked them why they thought the council had got a star rating for ambition. Well, because we've got very clearly focused series of targets set on our priorities, safer, supportive, successful, sustainable, all underpinned by sound values and management. We deliver these via our corporate and community plans and they provide us with our clear sense of targets and direction and then it's down to financial management to make sure they're delivered. And it's a very simple formula really. Yes, yeah, I mean I agree, I think one of the keys to our success is that we do listen. We listen to our communities, to our residents and to our partners and then we focus the resources where the need's been identified. And perhaps an example of that would have been the cyber cafes that we've been able to invest in within some of our communities that have provided training and development opportunities and enhanced the economic base of those communities. 
I think this, this score we have for ambition comes from our ability to work together and particularly in our role as community leaders. We have challenging plans for all our services on the council and also the regeneration of the towns uh, where we work with all the people, uh, be they residents, be they businesses or stakeholders. We're therefore doing what people want and that's the way to success. The Audit Commission in its report said that your clear direction was all important to the success of the Council. Nicola Dufty, you have business in Vale Royal uh, Profile Communication. What is it, in your opinion, makes the Council have the excellent factor? Business in Vale Royal is vibrant and exciting, and I believe the Council has played a significant role in that. Um, the Council has been ambitious in filling the mines underneath Northwich, uh, this is a, a unique project which really underlines the Council's commitment to the long-term success of the town. I also believe the regeneration plans for Frodsham and Winsford, the provision of business units um, and also the guidance for small businesses and the ongoing support for larger companies all creates and encourages confidence and growth in Vale Royal, giving it the excellent factor. Well, you mentioned the Council's plans for the towns of Frodsham and Northwich and Winsford. This is something that's highly praised in the CPA report. So we've just heard how a clear direction is successful for businesses in the borough. But I wondered whether this was the case for the council's partners. So earlier today I took the opportunity to talk to Tim Jackson, the divisional commander for Vale Royal Area for Cheshire Police. Tim has worked with councillors and officers on a number of various issues from community safety to equality and diversity. Tim also chairs the Vale Royal Community Forum. I've worked with the council for a number of years and I'm delighted to be able to send this message of congratulations. I think their success lies in the fact that they care. There is a real willingness on the part of the borough council to improve quality of life for people. The inspection report says the council is held in high regard by its partners who value its clarity of purpose and its ability to deliver. I believe this is absolutely the case. In my view, Vale Royal Borough Council listens to people and responds to their needs and their views. Well done and have a really good evening. The CPA report gave Vale Royal Borough Council top marks for achievement and improvement. Four out of four for both, in fact. The report says, political leadership is good, supported by strong officer leadership. The staff are knowledgeable and enthusiastic, focused on improving services, the achievements are noticeable. But what's it actually like to work there? Clearly the employees work really hard, but are they ever allowed time off to even go home? Daryl, you've worked there for, for 22 years. Are you ever allowed home? Sometimes. So come on then, tell us, what's it actually like working for Vale Royal Borough Council? I like it. We all know what's expected of us and that we're valued for doing it. I understand how I can support the achievement of the corporate priorities and feel that I'm kept informed of what is happening throughout the council. Wow, so working, living and playing in Vale Royal is, according to our panel, excellent. Panel, thank you very much. Terrific job. And do you want to come and uh, join us back on stage again, say a final word and pick up, of course, your excellent Factor Trophy. There you go. Thank Serious you congratulations much. to you and to all your colleagues. Um, is there anything you'd like to say? I'd just like to say we did it. I've always believed that we had the excellent factor, but now it's official. You have, you've done it. So, so what now then for, for a, an organisation that's classified as one of the best councils in the UK? We're going to continue on the journey of improvement, making the services in Vale Royal even better for the local people. OK, thank you again. On that note, that's it for us from Memorial Hall in Northwich, and congratulations again to Vale Royal Borough Council. Yeah!